Welcome to Smart Remarks, where the bird is the word, and we hope you enjoy yours. Happy Thanksgiving. So there's this famous painting by Norman Rockwell. I know you've seen it about a million times. It's very appropriate for Thanksgiving. It's a family sitting down to a huge turkey dinner. Uh, grandma and Grandpa serving the succulent bird. All the kids and everyone else are around the table smiling at one another in anticipation. Again, I know you've seen this uh, a million times, but I wondered if you knew what this painting is called. It's called Freedom From Want, and it's actually one of four paintings done by Rockwell in the early 1940s uh, in commemoration of a rather famous, at the time, speech by then President Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Called, uh, the speech was called The Four Freedoms. Uh, Americans don't talk much about this speech these days. It's disappeared down the collective memory hall, but we should talk about it, and Thanksgiving is actually a great time talk about at least one aspect of it. It was actually FDR's State of the Union speech uh, in January 1941. Uh, we had not yet entered World War uh, II, but Europe was already in flames. So FDR was talking about how, uh, as we look to the future, which we seek to make secure, we look forward to a world founded upon four essential human freedoms. These are freedom of speech, freedom of worship, freedom from want, and freedom from fear. Now, it was a very internationalist speech. There's a lot in there that I could disagree with, uh, and there's a lot in there that a right-winger could agree with. You know, if we have freedom from fear, doesn't that mean we should invade Iran? Doesn't that mean we should go fight them over there so we don't have to fight them over here? But the one part of the speech which really intrigued me was this whole idea of freedom from want, which Roosevelt say, uh, said means, quote, economic understandings which will secure to every nation a healthy peacetime life for its inhabitants everywhere in the world. You know, uh, we've been pretty successful in banishing full-scale want uh, here from the United States. You don't have too many people starving to death in the streets anyway. But it seems to me we just had an election where freedom from want was a central, if not the central argument of the election, because there are obviously those who don't believe that the government uh, should have a responsibility to ensure your freedom from want. If you want to be free from want, you have to go secure your provisions or your well-being yourself. These folks may be down as a result of the election, but they are certainly not out. And so here's what I want to know. Here on the cusp of Thanksgiving 2012, do we as a nation still believe in the idea, the value of freedom from want? And what does that look like in terms of actual policies as opposed to mere rhetoric. Social security, let's take one example. Social security may be the most successful government social program in our history, but as you know, its finances are facing an uncertain future, and there are a couple ways that we as a nation could go about addressing this. One would be to lift the cap on high income contributions. You pay payroll taxes, maybe not you personally, on only your first $113,700 in wages. If you make more than that, if you're a millionaire and you make hundreds of thousands of dollars more than that, you don't pay taxes on your wages above that. Now, there are some proposals in Congress. Let's make it so that everyone pays the payroll tax on the entirety of their wages. This would uh, boost the program's revenue stream and ensure the overall longer-term solvency of the program. That's one way to, to address this problem, one that protects Americans' freedom from want. But there are, of course, other ways to do this as well. One, uh, one might be to cut benefits, to raise the retirement age, to spare those who will never know want, and to create more people who do know want. Uh, as we go through the fiscal cliff negotiations, President Obama is going to be tempted to reach some sort of grand compromise with the GOP on Social Security and other social spending. I hope he won't be tempted to concede too much, because if, if want does increase in this country, I think democracy itself could be imperiled. FDR knew this, uh, saying that the four freedoms were, quote, the foundations of a healthy and strong democracy, and that they, these were, quote, basic things expected by our people of their political and economic system. I say people still rightly expect that today. The right will say this makes them moochers. I say it makes them Americans. <laughs>